Welcome back to Virtue Port. We have Michael with us. Yes. Thank you for being with us here. No problem. Um, and just a while back, you gave your speech on stage. Yes. You spoke about topics that are very unique this year in the conference, um, starting with uh, zero trust segmentation. Yeah. Um, before I ask you questions about that, can you please give us a brief overview on what uh, zero trust segmentation is? Yes, so zero trust segmentation, obvious, of course, segmentation has been around for a long time. But basically, it's about knowing what you have, understanding what those things do in terms of how they communicate, and then putting effective policies in place to protect them. Because ultimately, the bad guys are always going to get in. True. So what we need now is a containment strategy, not to try and prevent everything, but to contain something from spreading. Mm -hmm. Usually it's the spread that causes the problem, not the thing that happened itself. So zero trust is all about least privilege containment strategy. That's key. And that's what zero trust segmentation is about. And what do you see the direct effect of this strategy would be on the conference's topic, which is resilience of cybersecurity? Yes. So that's, that's actually key because part of resilience, cyber resilience, operational resilience, is the ability to recover when something bad happens. The only way you're going to recover is if you're able to contain the whatever thing that's happened. Yeah, spread, so true. that is quite key in terms of making sure that we move away from the mindset of trying to stop everything and then get to the mindset of prioritizing and then having a containment strategy. Because as I said at the beginning, the bad guys will always cut, will always true. get in. And that's the whole point of assume breach. Assume that something bad will happen and have a containment strategy around it. This particular strategy, which you've spoken about today, um, is not widely spread. It's, it's, it's somewhat new um, uh, in the domain of cybersecurity. Yes. Today, how would you spread awareness in this topic? Yeah, so it's, it's one of those things. It's, it's obvious when you hear it, but we haven't put it together in a way that simplifies it for people. And that's, that's what we, we've basically been trying to do for the last uh, 11 years or so. Um, so, as I said at the beginning, it's just three key things. Just know what you have. Uh, so basically, be able to identify those assets. Understand what those things do, which is quite key. Because as we say in security, you can't protect what you don't know about. And if you don't know what you're doing, you don't know whether you're doing the right thing or not. Um, so once you have those two locked down, then you can start thinking about how to actually protect those assets. What we've been doing up until the point of uh, this approach is we've been trying to put the protection in place first without understanding what we have or what mm. those things are doing. Mm. So you're putting protections on things that they don't necessarily need that level of protection mm. and leaving the crown jewels that do. So you start with understanding and then you go to protecting. Okay, okay, that's very interesting to, to measure or to detect before you actually go towards protection because yes. I think today with with the widespread of um, cybersecurity and the need for protection, everybody's just referring towards yeah. that, but without knowing how to use it in the most efficient exactly. manner. Exactly, exactly. Um, what, how can a particular organization measure their need or identify what the need actually is? Yes, so this, again, has to do with a combination of things. So zero trust and zero trust segmentation as a field is not just about a single product or a single person, a single organization. It's, first of all, a mindset change about how to look at your overall strategy, first of all, and then putting the right policies in place. So you need, or most organizations need two key things in terms of protection. They need to have tools and processes that help them protect against how an infection could potentially start, so how a bad thing could potentially start. That's the beginning. But very key to that, after that, they need protections and processes to actually also prevent how that thing can spread. Okay. Because the start is not as bad as the spread. It's the spread that gets you in the news for all the bad reasons. If something starts but you contain it, then it's not a big problem. If it's able to spread, then your chances of recovering from that become very, very difficult. So two key things, have protections in place. So we already have loads of that in terms of trying to prevent something from starting but also focus more on the spreading. This is where zero trust segmentation comes in. Michael, you're so good at memorizing such a broad topic and just a few key points. I think you hit all the questions that I have. Yeah. Um, my last question to you is, what would you want the attendees of today's conference to take back from your speech? So my speech uh, basically is um, obviously good AI um, going bad. Um, and the fundamentals of it is, with AI, the risks that we had before are going to be amplified. 
because the bad guys are going to use AI. Um, and it's not necessarily that the AI is bad, but it's it's good AI, but you know, it can be used for bad, it's like a knife. Yeah. You can use it for good or bad. But the key thing here is to think about your operational and cyber resilience. Do you, as of today, have something in place or have policies and protections in place so that if something bad happened on your network, you're able to contain it so you don't appear on the news the following day. <laughs> that is what operational resilience and cyber resilience is all about. So that's what I want attendees to think about is, how do I actually make sure that I'm thinking of new ways of making sure that I can stop the spread if something mm -hmm. bad happens? And that is ultimately the key to operational and cyber resilience. Thank you so much. Zero trust segmentation, something yes. that was very unique and you brought it to stage today. No Thank problem. you very much for Thank being with us, Michael. Thank you very much Michael. for your time. I've enjoyed it. Thank you.